Hi, I'm Tom Renault, Manager of Technical Services for Cessna Aircraft Company. We're here at the National Center for Aviation Training in Wichita, Kansas, and we'd like to introduce our new single engine safety program. We're going to take you through some of the inspections that we require for this safety program because we want you to be safe. The rudder bars are subject to cyclical loads. The area where the rudder pedal tubes and cable arms are welded to the rudder bars require a thorough visual inspection for cracks and corrosion. The strut attach points are also easily inspected at annual with a flashlight and mirror or a small video boroscope. Take a good look at the structure around the attaching fasteners from the front and the back. Look for corrosion as well as cracks. The forward and aft spar carry through and upper door post attach points are next. Check for cracking and fatigue from years spent on tie down. Be sure to check the area for corrosion. Condensation formed during flight can lead to corrosion under the insulation. Inspect the wing attach fitting fasteners for corrosion or damage too. The 210 and 177 cantilever wing airplanes require a detailed visual inspection for corrosion of the carry-through beams. A boroscope is an efficient means to inspect the upper surface of the lower flange in the areas obstructed by ducts and equipment for corrosion. The engine mount must be visually inspected at all welds looking for cracks and corrosion. The tubes that make up the truss must be inspected for corrosion and chafing damage from normal wear and tear over the life of the airplane. A close visual inspection of the cantilever wing attach points is required on the 210 and 177 Cardinal. The area is prone to corrosion which will reduce the structure's load carrying capabilities. Cracks have occurred at the center attach lug on high time airplanes. This necessitated the removal of the wing attach pin and eddy current inspection on airplanes with over 12,000 hours of flight time. The elevator trailing edge and trim tabs installed on some of the 200 series airplanes were foam filled. They can be identified by a lack of rivets on the upper and lower skins. The foam collects and holds moisture which will eventually cause the lower skin to corrode. The horizontal tail, vertical fin, rudder, and elevators require a detailed visual inspection. The attach points for the 200 series horizontal stabilizer have been the subject of several service bulletins. The times in the inspections are idealized for airplanes which have had the service bulletin modifications accomplished. These inspections may require removal of the empennage to examine the front spar of the horizontal for cracking. The wing spar has a manufacturing splice at the strut attach point on strut braced airplanes. Several layers of doublers were designed into this area to support the high loads. Moisture can be trapped between these layers and lead to corrosion. Using a boroscope to thoroughly check this area, look for pillowing of materials around the fasteners and missing fasteners. If any are found, a non-destructive inspection can be used to confirm material loss before disassembly and repair. A similar inspection is required at the upper spar cap. Look for corrosion and fatigue damage in areas where the wing fitting is attached to the upper spar. Inspect the landing gear for chip paint and rust pitting. Any missing paint should be repaired promptly to prevent corrosion. Any pitting must be evaluated for structural significance prior to repair. Now that we've reviewed the inspection program and the areas of the aircraft we believe need to be inspected, you can review the entire inspection in PDF format at the link below.